How's it going everybody? My name is Colossals. Welcome back to another Heroes of the Storm video. Today we are taking a look at the new Barak. We're kind of moving along on the A through Z series. Um, yes, I will go back to Alarak. I know that he just changed and I promised you guys that I will be making another video and that, that, will, that will come next. But today we'll be, we'll be taking a look at the anti-mage kind of hero. You can say that Anubarak was, he was first released after the release, I think, of the beta. And then he was re-released. -re I just can't say that fucking word. Re-released. <laughs> Recently, uh, by the way, twice because of, because of his both of his reworks. The first one making him 100% kind of like an anti-mage hero. Um, but now they kind of they 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 step back. He's not as anti. He's still he's still good against uh, mages because he still has that passive armor against abilities. But he's not as big of a counter, although he's still a counter, but he he fills a lot of different roles at the moment. I think he's going to get nerfed pretty soon, so I want to get as much time as I possibly can with him. A lot of diff different builds with him, uh, but there's one special one that just stands out, and it's it's obviously really good. Uh, so we'll be taking a look at him. Uh, he's, historically, he's been like very, very uh, unpopular, very, very bad, but then after the reworks, of course, after uh, he gained that ar that passive armor, he became really good. So we're gonna take a look at him, and hopefully have some fun. All right, boys and squirrels, we'll find ourselves on the Warhead Junction. Let's see how much of ability damage does the enemy team have. A little bit of ability damage, but mostly auto attacks, uh, auto attacks, and no damage at all. I don't know. Might just go region master, even though Nurbin armor is just still like really fucking strong. But their team is just like not so good. Actually, we have morale, so fuck it. Just go Nurbin armor. Nurbin armor. What it's gonna do? Every every twelve seconds. After you take damage from ability uh, from an from an enemy uh, enemy hero, you will become activating thirty percent more of that armor anti you know, the anti ability armor. You know, really good talent. I'm gonna use my E there. What's this Morales doing? Okay, Vala, you just want to stay there? That's all good, you, but that looks like our Alarak does get taken out by our by the enemy Diablo. Anyway, our Q ability is Cold Impale. It allows me to just, like, in a, in a straight line, uh, just throw down this kind of skill shot in front of me that stuns people and throw them up in the air. Really good for just setting up plays. Very, very good for just, like, for just doing this. Like, I can just do this, and then I can stun a lot of people. Like, it's a very, very brief stun, but it does, but it does the job. They're not attacking. <laughs> like, I'm seriously, they're not attacking. Oh, shit! And they're not attacking Morales. Like, Morales is basically what, what they need to be focusing on. Anyway, I'm gonna head top, uh, just because we were missing some XP over there. It looks like the enemy avatar is already taking care of that for the enemy team. But yeah, I'm just gonna deal some damage. Pretty good at level 4 for Wave Clear. Um, makes him a beast. It just makes him a beast. Like, he just kind of just walks in, he, he just kind of walks in or dives in and he just presses Q and everybody just flies up in the air. It's pretty, pretty good, them good, like, just like that, you know? It's pretty strong like that. Uh, our W ability is basically this little shield. It's, uh, it's actually mostly used for my um, for my trait, but... Um, this Vala's beard. I, I don't think that was necessary by me, but I just wanted to be safe. Uh, looks like this Vala is... I think she's AFK or something. Okay! I'll take that. Yeah, so basically it's just gonna give us a little bit of shield and that's pretty much it. It's mostly used for uh, for just spawning my, my trait uh, with certain builds, but it just gives that, you know, that very, very good piece of, you know, piece of um, survivability. Let's actually push this along with Alarak. I think we should be able to get to these Two turrets, at least. Can you help me with this, or no? Okay, by the barb, it's gonna be my uh, talent of choice, at level four. Looks like this Alarak is AFK too. Okay, we got AFKers. Just freaking plague. 
going on. And me, my E ability is called Burrow Charge. It allows me to just kind of burrow underground in a skill shot kind of manner. Very good for escape. It's very good for engaging and disengaging. Uh, now Bedo Barbs, by the way, what it's going to do, the level 4 talent, by the way, on my Q. For 4 seconds, is it 4 or is it 3 seconds? It's 3 and a half seconds. Uh, basically, my spikes are going to persist, so you can see. These like little spikes are actually there. And they'll be doing some damage over time and also slowing people who, who walk over that area. Looks like bottom is getting heavily pressured, but again, the enemy team is not focusing Morales, so they will be rip renoed. But now, now Morales is actually walking right into it. I'm gonna dive right here. That's gonna be a kill on the enemy Karazim and the enemy Diablo. I'm gonna keep chasing, but it looks like enemy Lucio will be just able to move away. I don't know, this, this game just seems weird so far. Baby, you wanna help me with, take a camp? <clears throat> so there you go, bird charge. By the way, yes, so did not explain at the end what it's gonna do for us. Um, so it, what it will do in the area, when I emerge, you can say, it's going to stun people, uh, very similar to Q, but for a longer duration, for, uh, for how long? Briefly stunning them. That doesn't actually say for. Doesn't actually say. Can you say something? Else? Doesn't actually say for how long. Uh, let's go for subterranean shield here. But it's it's a brief stun apparently. That's what it is. <laughs> and then um, it's also going to slow people um, uh, after. Of course, deal damage as well. Kind of. I, would, I think they're trying to just kind of like mimic what what we are doing as a team. Just I mean it's cute, but. I don't think it's going to work in the long run. Uh, by the way, the Better Barb is actually super fucking huge for um, clearing waves. It's, it's makes him, uh, it makes him just a very, very good overall tank. Let's actually clear this. Looks like somebody is dead. dead. And I think it's going to be Alarak. Yeah, there we go. He's dead, boys. Soak some of those shots with, with my shield. And I think we'll be fine. Let's look at these turrets. I know they're like the enemy team, the enemy team is just showing middle. And there's no reason to not get these turrets, especially that we are supposed to be getting these two bottom nukes. Um, level <laughs> level 7, I went for a subterranean shield, by the way. Whenever I use my E, I'm gonna get a shield. So just additional, you know, additional uh, survivability that we... Uh, that, that Anubarak needs, because he um, kind of natively has a little bit less health than any other tank, just because of his, you know, his passive. Um, I need some help here. Uh, his passive armor against abilities. So the dev said, okay, he he gets some armor, but we will take away the the the, the health, the big health, the health portal, you know. Uh, who took the nuke here? Did they just to completely miss it. Alright, just post it down here. Woo! There we go. By the way, you can also reactivate your E uh, before you emerge, before you emerge at the end of the of you know of the road, you can say, uh, to uh, to just kind of re-emerge uh, a little bit quicker. You know, uh, he's slow. Let's try to fuck him. Try to kill him. That's what I meant to say. Uh, I really want to do cocoon, but I don't think we need it. Like this is quick match, and honestly, in quick match, anything can happen. Anything. All right, it's gonna be cocoon time, boys. Uh, so where is? I just cocoon Diablo for some reason. I wanted to actually cocoon the. Um... Yeah, got it. Now, now the Diablo's behind us. I'm trying to get my Q, but I don't think he'll be able. Okay, it's fine. It's okay. It's okay. Hey, let's get this. Maybe hey, come help me. By the way, if you guys didn't know, my girlfriend's playing Abathur. She's up in the top lane right now. Okay, I guess we just don't do anything then. Okay, our Morales is just kind of AFKing. Everybody's AFKing this game, I don't know what's going on. Anyway, what Cocoon is going to do is just going to basically take and hero out for a few seconds. Uh, it's going to create this Cocoon. I'm just going to back for mana. It's going to create this Cocoon, going to wrap kind of wrap that hero in that, uh, in that web. Um, in that spider web kind of thing. Um, taking them out of, the, out of the fight for maximum of 8 seconds. By the way, the enemies can attack the Cocoon to, uh, to, to get that hero out quicker. 
uh, which obviously you kind of, you know, it's really good. Like you, you can basically, you know, like enable escapes, right? Enable escapes. You, let's say somebody's chasing you. I don't know. Maybe Lucio's giving movement speed. Bam! You just drop the Kuna him. He can't. Uh, he can't give his movement speed uh, at all. And you, you you take that opportunity to get. I think we did a little bit too early, but I think the Vala will be just, just kind of rip, boys. So, Diablo is still on the point, I'm, I'm just saying. Alright, he's not on the point. Finish the boss, finish the boss, please. Yeah. Okay, so that was, I don't know what the hell that was. I don't know, I don't know who we're playing against. I'm, I'm gonna go for Acid Range man Mandibles here. Uh, we do not need, I, I guess, if this was Hero League, I would need more uh, more uh, Wave Clear, just because our, our team is just not that heavy on Wave Clear. Um, so I'll probably go Burning Rage. This is another good, very good choice. Uh, but Acid Range Mandibles just allows us to just become a freaking beast, okay? It allows us to just become just such a threat to the backliners. It's pretty... Pretty disgusting. Uh, what it is, it's basically executioner buff for Anubarak, right? And but if you think about it, Anubarak has just a crazy, a crazy amount of you know CC himself. So he doesn't actually need his teammates to have CC. You know what I mean, man? Which obviously, of course, just makes makes it makes this talent super good. And also, and also, it's it's a little bit of a stronger version. Of, uh, of of execution because it's seventy percent more damage. But of course, um, Anubarak is a, is a tank, so he doesn't do as much damage as, for example, Graeme or someone like that. But it's still at the end, it adds up to so much damage. Hopefully, I'll be able to uh, show you guys before this game ends how uh, how powerful this this talent is. Uh, by the way, the other the other heroic that I was uh, able to choose there was um... there you go. So I'm gonna set up. Oh my god! Okay, we still got him. Good, good, good. I was, I was, I was about to get so mad, but I guess you saw there that I did one auto attack, which was increased. Why is this Vala here? Bam! You can see just how much of the health I'm chunking with every single attack. It's pretty crazy. But um, yeah, the, the other one is called Locust Swarm. It was nerfed a couple of times now. They nerfed the the damage. What it does, it 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 kind of deals. AOE damage around the Nubarak and heals him for the percentage, for percentage of the damage dealt. Um, the damage, first of all, the damage was, you know, was nerfed and then the healing was nerfed. Alright, I activated my Executioner here and I'm trying to go ham. And you can see, I'm just, just totally destroying them. He's in the cocoon, so he won't be able to go anywhere. Dead. You can see how much damage I'm doing. Again, um, hopefully I'm, I'm showcasing this pretty well. Three seconds up until my stuff. I'm gonna go and try to stun him. I don't know. I think I feel bad. Okay, I feel bad because um, first of all, Nubrak is just super crazy, and second of all, like hasn't good. And second of all, the enemy team is just I don't know. I don't know what they were doing, but I think Val was just kind of griefing. She was feeding. Uh, but it's gonna be a good game. A very very fast game. I didn't actually. Uh, get to show you all the talents but i'll i'll explain them anyway and this kind of shows you how how dominant he can be i'm not saying that this entire game was just me but it shows you how much of a caddy job you can do with a tank you can engage you can escape you can poke um you can set up plays you know you can cc you can uh, just do so many things with, with anubarak you can actually be an assassin yourself after a level Excuse me, level 13. I'm sorry, but that was the best. To ever fucking do this shit. Yeah. Alright. Anubarak, again, super crazy. Um, first pick him, first ban him in the Hero League. Honestly, he's just really, really strong. Um, and honestly, he's not that hard to play. Okay. Hopefully this kind of shows you uh, how to use Cocoon. Cocoon, I think, is the hardest thing to do. Uh, also, another hard thing to do is you doing your E and then uh, following up with uh, with the Q. So what you do is you just press E, try to try to time it in a way where you... Let's say, for example, Vala is running across you and you're here, right? 
you want to kind of take into account the time which is going to take you to burrow to get on top of her to throw her up and then and then you go with you proceed with the queue uh, and you secure a kill apart uh, potentially um, another thing is just when to use cocoon. Cocoon can be used in three different situations. That's what I see. Uh, one is this escaping, where you just kind of um, cocoon a person who is vital to the enemy team chasing you. Uh, number two is in a team fight, where you can cocoon the um, the enemy hero who is more vital to winning a team fight. I don't know, be it Uther, be it Morales, be it uh, Diablo, um, just any kind of priority target, I would say just cocoon that target and you have to act quickly because then you have a 4v5 but you it's only for 8 seconds and if the enemy team focuses the cocoon, they will just make you lose your uh, heroic because you just used your 60 second cooldown but they just destroyed it within like 2 seconds, you know? And then last use I think is good for catching people out of positions. For, let's say for example, you see the enemy team in the in a different lane, but one person is stuck in the lane with I don't know two or three of your teammates. You cocoon them. You set up the play. You set up the CC. Uh, it's it's super easy to follow up on on, on you know on on the cocoon just because you exactly see how long is left in that bitch. Um, so again, just those three uses are just kind of like. Very, very good. Again, escapes, engages, and team fights. Um, but anyway, let's go for the build, the build again. Super, super standard for him. There are three different ones. I really want to go over them. Uh, I want to go over all of them, but I won't be able to just because we have to just keep rushing, keep going with all the videos. And then maybe after I'm done with the A through Z, I will just kind of uh, dash, not dash, but dive into builds. Huh? You see what I did there? Dive. A new Barak dive. Er um, dive into different builds with a new Barak and just every other character in the game because most of them have different builds. So level one, I went for Nerubian armor. Most of the time, you will be going for this, for this talent. Uh, just so good. Again, most of heroes who are even auto attack based have some sort of ability damage. So you want to be grabbing a Nerubian armor most of the time, especially when you have a healer. When you don't have a healer, and the enemy team is mostly auto attacks uh, maybe when you're playing a quick match or something like that region master is always your choice as well um so again what's going to do 30 percent less damage every 12 seconds for 1.5 second from abilities so this this basically takes you up to 50 percent because his tr his as passive he gets basically 20 percent um just passively he takes less from ab from abilities so it takes you up to 50. Level 4, uh, you want to go for Battle Barbs, a really good talent, it was recently added to the game, it, it was never before. I think No, actually it was on on, on him before, but I think it was uh, his its functional was different because I think this actually used to just deal damage, not slow. But anyway, it's going to deal damage uh, for 3.5 seconds after the spikes just going to go away and slow enemies fight by 30%. Really good talent. Um, another thing here I think is a shed exoskeleton but just battle barb is so good I don't think you can give it up and if you're going for the for the bug build which is actually what I want to go for once we finish the A3Z through series because it's just like it's not good and it's not like good in any situations but it's just interesting you know it's just interesting to go for that build um I, th I think you might get away if you're going for that build you might get away with Legion of Beetles but battle barb is just so strong um level seven there are two choices here there's one a subterranean shield, which is just obviously gives you a very, very good dive, very, very good engage because you have more survivability when you dive. It's not an amazing shield, but it's still something. And uh, the other one here is kindness plating, uh, reducing the cooldown of your W again, giving you more survivability in a team fight, right? Like, let's say you have they have Li Ming who puts her laser in you, right? Again, because you're anti mage, you take less damage, but also when you when you activate W. She's gonna pop your. She's gonna attack your your shield so many times that you're gonna be basically almost, almost fully reset cooldown. Right? It's only up to three seconds, but it's still the three seconds off of the I think seven or eight. Don't quote me right now. Uh, seven. So it's gonna be four second cooldown on your shield again. It's actually pretty substantial shield. So it gives you a lot of survivability. So very very good. Um, you just have to know what you're up against. If you can get against Gul'dan, who's not gonna get a lot of you know attacks on you, and just Q every every second and a half or something, then mm, this doesn't get value. But subterranean, subterranean shields will. So you just 
just be careful who you're playing, going against. Level 10. Cocoon is the change, we just way to go. Never go for Locust Swarm. I would never I would never take Locust Swarm. If you if you if you want to try it, you'll see that it just it doesn't deal enough damage, first of all, which is which is actually what was nerfed, and it doesn't heal you enough, which is the other. Um, I would just go for Cocoon every single time. Uh, level 13, um, there are two, cho two choices here. Burning Rage, uh, deal 23%. Of course, this has been in the game forever. If you don't have, um, for some reason, if you don't have enough uh, Wave Clear, Burning Rage is the way to go. And it's also going to deal some wonders in team fights. But if you want to just, if you have enough Wave Clear and you want to just focus that one target, just get that mage out of the fight, Acid Drenched, Acid Drenched Mandibles is going to be your way to go. Also, under talent here, if you're going for the level 7 kindness plating, I would actually go for the Articating Spines. This is basically whenever you press your W, it's going to activate for some damage, double damage to heroes. Really good in team fights, but also for clearing if you can reduce the cooldown with your uh, level 7 talent. Uh, level 7, uh, sorry, level 16, uh, we did go for Epicenter. I think this is the only choice here. Again, if you're going for the Beetles, you might go for the Beetlejuice. But Epicenter is probably the way to go. It increases the impact area at the end uh, of your E. Basically, whenever you emerge, it's, it's, it's a bigger area. Uh, so that's already super fucking great. And the other thing is you will be reducing the cooldown of your charge. So you, you can basically get like three or four charges in one team fight. Which is, it's just crazy how much value this gets. The Belizean, I tried this talent. It works, but it's just not as impactful as Epicenter, I would say. Um, shit. Um, yeah, so just Epicenter is just super, super strong. And level 20. I think Rewind is the only way to go, honestly. If you were dumb enough to go for... Or maybe not dumb enough, but unexperienced enough to still go for um, for Locust Swarm, I think Hive Master is pretty okay. And Nullification Shield is only good again if they have like more than, more, I would say, two or more mages, is then Nullification Shield is pretty good. And then Rewind is also I just just the best talent choice because imagine having what Anubarak brings to the table, but twice. Basically, you can just hit your Rewind and you get all your basic abilities back, which is your Q, your E, and your W. Just And just couple that with this cooldown reduction and with this cooldown reduction. It just allows them to be such a menace in a team fight is pretty crazy. But anyway, this has been Anubarak, very, very good, very, very good character. Uh, sorry for the quick game, we just kind of wrecked them. Uh, my, uh, my girlfriend just carried us to, to the victory. But um, yeah, Anubarak is super fun. Pick him right now up, up until he gets nerfed. I think he's gonna receive the same kind of ETC treatment. ETC was great for a very, very long time. And then he got nerfed to the ground and he's not played anymore. So I think just jump onto him now, try him out at least. Um, I, he's just super fun. If you're even if you're an AD carry player or kind of like a support player, you will enjoy uh, Anubra just because of his super fun kind of uh, very light kind of playstyle. Um, just kind of engaging, disengaging, just all of that. What I said in this video is just super, super, super fun. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.